do you know that you can study and memorize intermuscular spaces of upper limb just with your fingers and have you ever confused the structures passing above and below the ligament which forms the suprascapular notch if yes watch the video fully to make your concepts clear hey guys welcome back again in this video we are going to learn about intermuscular spaces anatomical space is any space that is not completely occupied by tissue these act as passageways for neurovascular structures to pass through it most important in upper limb are four which are discussed here suprascapular foramen it is located at the superior lateral border of the scapula boundaries superiorly superior transverse scapular ligament inferiorly suprascapular notch contents suprascapular nerve which passes under the ligament which is a branch of the brachial plexus suprascapular artery passes adjacent to the nerve above the ligament here's a mnemonic to remember what structures lies above and below the ligament air force fights above navy force fights below so from this we can remember that suprascapular artery runs above the ligament and the suprascapular nerve runs below the ligament a for air force a above and for navy and it's below I'm taking my left hand and my left index and middle fingers and my right hand my right index and middle fingers I'm putting my right index and middle fingers above the left index finger and below the left middle finger now an upper and lower triangle with a quadrangular space is formed quadrangular space boundaries superiorly subscapularis in front shoulder joint capsule teres minor inferior border behind inferiorly teres major superior border medially long head of triceps brachii lateral border laterally surgical neck of humerus quadrangular space contents axillary nerve and posterior circumflex humeral vessels upper triangular space boundaries superiorly inferior border of teres minor laterally long head of triceps brachii medial border inferiorly superior border of teres major contents circumflex scapular artery which anastomoses with the suprascapular artery these take part in the scapular anastomosis lower triangular space boundaries medially long head of triceps brachii lateral border laterally humerus medial border superiorly teres major lower border contents radial nerve and profunda brachii vessels clinical anatomy compression by trauma hyperplasia or hypertrophy compression of the suprascapular nerve results in paralysis to both supraspinatus and infraspinatus muscles 
Quadrilateral or Quadrangular Space Syndrome QSS. It, this is due to the neurovascular compression in the quadrangular space. It is an uncommon condition that affects athletes. Four main signs that are associated with QSS are poorly localized shoulder pain, paresthesia not associated with the dermatomes, positive arteriogram revealing an occluded PCHA that is posterior circumflex humeral artery while the affected shoulder is abducted or externally rotated. Discrete point tenderness in the area of the quadrangular space. Let's see these topics in exam point of view. Mostly in university exams, we can expect a 1 mark MCQ and a 5 mark. Or else, they may ask it as a subdivision question in 15 mark question. So, this topic is quite mark yielding. How to present this question? exam when asked as a five mark. Put a synopsis consisting of introduction and subdivisions containing the four types of spaces and its contents and boundaries and finally clinical anatomy and explain it in a sequence and if you think that you don't have enough time just draw the diagrams which is necessary for it. The diagrams should explain what you wish to say. That's enough and never forget to add clinical anatomy. It is the main point in, in scoring marks. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed learning, do hit the subscribe button and put a thumbs up.